I got news on Charlotte Flair. She has a return date. When is the queen of the SmackDown Live Women's Division? Oh, I'm trying to get my camera adjusted. That was a mistake. When does the queen of the SmackDown Live Women's Division set to make her WWE return? I got news on NXT War Games as well as it, as WWE will be wearing it back. Uh, I'll let you guys know when NXT War Games, what, what date it will be, because I enjoyed the first War Games. It was very, very great. And where it's going to be hold that. It's going to be very, very good to know a lot about good news on that. Um, and also, I got news on some NXT products, prospects that went into, went into the Performance Center that, that got, I, I believe that got NXT contracts as well today. And I have some news on Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley. What is the plan? Who's supposed to go over and fight Bobby? I mean, to fight Brock Lesnar? Rumored triple threat match for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. I'll give you guys details on that. Um, and that will be it for this part two of Training Talks. Tomorrow, I'm saving the the Hulk Hogan stuff for tomorrow. Uh, New Day Tyson, there they address the recent Hulk Hogan apology to talent. And then I got backstage news on Daniel Bryan and Kane Vasquez as well. So we'll go over that tomorrow to end out training talks for this hot weekend of rumors. Now let's talk about Charlotte Flair, ladies and gentlemen. It was reported about a month ago that Flair will be needing to take some time off to repair a ruptured breast implant. And that has been confirmed to be the case. Appearing with Mar Maria Moranos on Sirius XM Radio, Flair revealed that she had suffered the rapture prior to WrestleMania, way to go and undergo way to undergo surgery due to all the commitments she had coming up. The decision to hold off the surgery, however, appears to have been one that the ill-advised, as she as she admitted that she had gotten sick from a floating silicone. I got sick a few times. That may have been from it, Flair said, but the silicone got all the way in my armpit. Oh God! Well, I know, I know that hurt it. And that's probably one of the reasons why she dropped the title after WrestleMania to uh, Carmella because she had to go get surgery. Um, that's probably the reason. That's probably why Carmella won the title to begin with. Because I think Charlotte. I think the original plan was Charlotte to beat Oscar at uh, at WrestleMania and then hold the title until now and possibly lose it to Oscar later on down the line. But um, it, it looks like WWE had to change plans because Charlotte got injured. And that means uh, that means Carmella. Floated in the cash in her Money in the Bank contract after WrestleMania. So, I, will, I wish they would have had Carmella win the title at Mania. Um, but good thing she didn't because that means if, if, if that were, if the logic went there, that means Carmella would have beaten Oscar, wouldn't be, would have been the one to end Oscar's undefeated streak. And God knows, nobody wants to see that one. So, I'm glad, very glad that Charlotte did it, did, did the job at WrestleMania because. Now WWE has has Oscar look like a fool against Carmella. God, and we, we and you guys will check and we'll give me more news about James L. The Worthless. That's in my previous training talks from yesterday. If you guys have not seen that video, make sure you guys go check that out. But the good news is that all seems to be well with the multi-time women's champion, and she has a return date in mind. Better mention the Minosis on the show that she's clear to return to action on July 31st, the end of this month. So 10 days from now. Flair should be back on television. What happens to fall on a Tuesday? She is, of course, in my to return to action on that nice edition of SmackDown, which is certainly no surprise given her competitiveness. Flair last competed in the ring as part of the second annual Women's Money in the Bank match on June 17th, which was won by Alexa Bliss, who cast in later on that evening. So, yeah, she's coming back July 31st. Probably she will appear on that Tuesday night SmackDown. If not, she will appear on the week after SmackDown, which that is August 7th, the, the 7th of August, that is the second, that is the first SmackDown in August, and that is the, that is the last SmackDown before I go back to school the next day, so uh, yeah, so we'll see when Flair makes her return back to WWE. Um, now, NXT War Games, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are NXT fans like I am, a massive NXT fan, um, I will be starting doing NXT reviews um, when school starts back up because I can watch them uh, for an hour while I uh, get my homework done and and, uh, and work and edit some videos for the next couple of days. So, you know, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be watching NXT when school starts back up. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to start reviewing NXT when school starts back up because right now I just watch it when I have time. So and I have plenty of time to watch it. So I can't I, I can't I don't have time to review them. So. 
So um, I, I've been I've been I've been on a busy pace as of now. But uh, when school starts back up, we'll, we'll get back to the floor of things, and then um, I'm going to be reviewing NXT on a weekly basis. So starting um, starting in August by August 8th, uh, I will review NXT that on I'm I'm, I'm shooting to do Wednesday nights. But it's probably going to be Thursdays. I will be reviewing NXT. So that's Tuesday, more review. Wednesday, SmackDown Live review. And Thursdays, NXT review. So we got three days of WWE content during the week. Also sprinkling in Universe Mode and all, all the other games I'm going to be playing uh, during the school year as well. So that is the current schedule as of now. We'll discuss more details on that when we get closer to school and my, my new schedule for the fall of 2018. I'll let you guys know about that um, in the near future. But NXT War Games will be will be will again be taking place tonight prior to Survivor Series, which this year falls on November seventeenth. So Survivor Series this year is November eighteenth, very early, or very early Survivor Series. Usually we got Survivor Series on the end of November twentieth, but uh, WWE is going early with Survivor Series this year. November eighteenth is Survivor Series this year. As Thanksgiving is the week after, so it it, it, it always is the weekend before Thanksgiving. I think I think it always is there, but um, it's that Thanksgiving falls a little bit earlier this year, bro. Uh, that's why I'm I'm surprised because we had an 18. Usually Survivor Series be 20 something, so that's interesting. But um, this year's uh, takeover war against we event from L.A., the City of Angels, inside the Staples Center where the Lakers and Clippers play. The same view that will host Survivor Series one night later. So, Survivor Series will be coming down to the City of Angels. I have plans to host a Survivor Series Universe more than the City of Angels. Look like WWE is doing it this year. Look like I'm going to have to change my venue for my Universe more in 2K19 for Survivor Series. I want to do, do LA, but we'll see. I might do LA, you know. We'll see. But, um, I, 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 I was looking at Miami, too, so. Um, but, um, I'll, uh, we'll see when we get to Survivor Series 2K19. I might change my mind. I might get to Survivor Series before, before WWE does anyway, so. We'll see. Um... The same, the, what are there? NXT brought back the NWA says WWE staple match last year, and yes, we era emerged between the boot about over Sandy and the Authors of Pain, which was a very, very great match. One of the best matches of that of that year's card of NXT Takeover War Games. Who were joined by the current undisputed member, Roderick Strong. Every wrestling will be bringing back another notable name for the professional sports world. Uh, the promotion on Tuesday. That uh, the promotion also tweeted that with the slam anniversary event taking place this Sunday in Toronto, Blue Jays outfit the Curtis Grayson will be in attendance. Not only will he be available and be in the building, but he will be the title holder for the main event that sees Austin Aries defending the Impact World Championship against Moose. Now, I don't watch TNA or whatever it's called. I don't watch TNA anymore. I used to watch TNA with Kurt Angle and Bobby, Bobby Lashley, where they could say, Oh, Bobby Lashley's so good in TNA. So I, I went back. I, I watched TNA when he was in there, but when they left, I and TNA just fell apart. I never, I never got back into watching NXT. But it's good for Austin Aries. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big Aries fan. Hope he comes back to WWE soon. Um, you know that's good for him to uh, defend his title against Moose. I don't even know who that is. I, I, I think he's a former WWE talent, I believe, but I don't even know who Moose is. But yeah, because you guys tell people I don't, I don't watch NXT. I do, I, I, I don't. But um, yeah. That's great for uh, TNA and all that stuff like that. And also uh, great for uh, NXT TakeOver. I'm a huge fan of TakeOver. TakeOver that blew the minds out of the TakeOver Chicago. Blew Money in the Bank out the water. And I predict TakeOver Brooklyn 4 will blow the roof off of SummerSlam 2018. That, that's, that, that's how I have high, I have very high expectations for NXT TakeOver. And we never get a very bad TakeOver. We always get very bad pay per for WWE. But if you are if you're an NXT fan, we never get very bad takeovers, and sometimes they be better than we will we get on the real on the main roster the next night. Sometimes just depends. But I hope SummerSlam is I hope SummerSlam will be good. I hope Takeover uh Takeover Brooklyn will be good, and I hope Takeover War Games will be great as well. Cause I love the War Games concept, and WWE needs to keep using that. Cause I absolutely adore it. Now, finally, in this new story, it is, you guys are going to be disappointed here. WWE is playing a triple threat match for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. Roman Reigns, Bobby Trashley, and Brock Lesnar. Now, rumors have been circling around that this match on Monday Night Raw will end in disqualification. Rumored that either Braun Strowman will interfere in this match and cause a DQ finish. And Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley will just be 
added into the and just both of them will go to SummerSlam to fight for the Universal Championship uh, with a cash in from Braun Strowman at SummerSlam. That's scenario number one. Uh, Reigns and Lashley get counted out, and Kurt Angle puts both of them in the match for SummerSlam. Um, and uh, Strowman catches in at SummerSlam as well. Again, making it a fatal four way. That's woman number two. And woman number three is that um, we're, we're, Roman Reigns would just straight up beat Bobby Lashley on the Night Raw, and Reigns will fight Lester one on one for the US Championship. Reigns will win the title, and Strowman catches in right after to win the universe title. So Roman Reigns will have his moment for a bit, for a couple, for about five minutes, I guess they said, and Strowman will cash in his universe championship, his money in the bank contract, and win the universe title, and walk on the floor for the universe champion. And then the fourth rumor is Bobby Lashley will beat Roman Reigns and fight Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, lose to Brock Lesnar, and then Braun Strowman catches in after. Lester retains the universe title and takes the universe championship from Brock, and Brock disappears and, and and gets ready for his UFC match 2019 before Survivor Series comes around. So those are the four scenarios that we have for this. I hope that Bobby Lashley beats Reigns because I'd rather see Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar than Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. That's just me. Roman Reigns does not even need to deserve. He does not deserve another universe championship shot. It makes no sense why he he's even challenging for the Universal Championship. If I was WWE, I would have had Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley for the right to go fight Brock Lesnar because those two are deserving of a Universal Championship shot. If I'm WWE, and this is just me, also, I would have had a tournament. Yeah, you guys see on my, on my WWE uh, Raw review, I said I would have, I would have had an eight-man tournament to space this out. SummerSlam is in one is in, is in 30 days. 30 days. And we're gonna find out who finds Brock Lesnar next week on the final Raw of right of the second to last Raw in uh July. Why? Why couldn't you space this out? I went a whole eight-man tournament, put some guys over, get them in the spotlight, let people see what they can do. Great one-on-one -on -one matches. I would, I, would, I, would, I would have been fine of a tournament. That means we could have had one Reigns could have got a little shot. Reigns could have got a, got a couple wins and lose to maybe Seth. And Bobby Lashley would look dominant, I guess. You know, possibly he loses as well. And then we get Seth or Seth versus Drew, Seth versus Ziggler in the finale. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, I wanted to see Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam. That was the money match. Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley, they don't intrigue me against Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins does. Seth Rollins is very underrated. Seth Rollins is money. Everybody wants Seth. You guys will mostly agree. I know you guys will agree with me. If it was Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar, would you pay to see that? Would you watch that match? I know half of you guys will see that. Will say yes. I know you're not know. Because Seth Rollins is that good. He's that good. If I was WWE, I would get the shot to Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns does not deserve that shot. I'm just speaking logically. Okay, you're going to say, oh, well, Seth Rollins lost to Dolph Ziggler. He lost via controversy. Reigns got beat up straight up clean. Clean. At, at, um, what was it? Extreme Rules. We lastly beat him clean. So, what things he wants a Universal Championship shot? Nothing. Back in the line, Roman. But I just don't see Roman Reigns losing, and, uh, I, I'm sorry, I just don't see Roman Reigns not having a big match at SummerSlam. Somebody has to come out to give Reigns his big match at SummerSlam if Roman Reigns is not trying to win for the Universal Championship. There's nobody else that could legitly have a reason to screw Roman Reigns. There's nobody else that legitly has a reason. Who else can come out and screw Roman Reigns out of the Universal Championship? There's one. That's Mr. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose has been on the shelf for months. You want to bring Dean Ambrose back in a, in, a, in a great light? Have him interfere in this match and cost Roman Reigns a shot at Brock Lesnar. Ambrose versus Reigns at SummerSlam. I wouldn't mind seeing that. That I would not mind seeing that at all. Ambrose is woman to be cleared. Ambrose is woman to make his return soon. Why not have in his hometown? What he cost? Roman, 
this shot at the Universal Championship. And that sets up Ambrose versus Reigns at SummerSlam. Possibly leads into a Reigns heel turn? Maybe. Maybe. You never know. That will be a very, very good outcome for Reigns and Lashley. We get Lashley and Lester. We get a scenario Lester beats Lashley. Strowman catches in. We all go home happy. See? Everybody goes home happy at SummerSlam. We, 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 we don't get Reigns in the main event because he doesn't deserve it. Ambrose comes back in a legit fashion against Roman. We possibly leads to a Roman heel turn. Um, we get Braun Strowman as Universal Champion. Rollins fights Ziggler and, 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 and another five-star classic. And um, there you go. Raw is set for SummerSlam. That's the best outcome. That's the best outcome I can come for this. But let me you guys think. Out of four scenarios I just listed, what do you want to see happen with, with, with Roman when Roman Reigns and Bobby Lassie fight each other for the Universal Championship? Let me know when. Let me know in the comment section um, down below. What, what, what do you want to happen next week on Raw when Reigns and Lashley go at it? Well, if you guys enjoyed it, you guys enjoyed that like button. Hit that red button, turn on post notifications on the road to 200 subscribers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Tomorrow, Hulk Hogan, we go over the Hulk Hogan mess and New Day and Tyson Neal response to that. Um, we also go over backstage news on Daniel Bryan and King Vasquez got some news on us for WWE as well. I'll be your host, Coach. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try, if I can't stream Last of Us, I'm going to try to get a Universe Mode out video out for you guys today. If not, I'll see you guys on tomorrow for part three of Train Talks, which will be a little late in the evening tomorrow. But I uh, hope you guys understand because I'm going somewhere tomorrow. But hope you guys enjoy. See y'all in the next video, possibly a Last of Us stream today if I can. If not, I'll have a Universe Mode video up for you guys today, and that will be the end of Cold Train today. Um... For, for content. Well, I'm, 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 I'm getting out of here, guys. See you guys in the next one. Remember to be glorious! And everything you do, I'm out of here.